On New Year's Day, Pasadena hosts its biggest event of the year, the Rose Parade. A city of 140,000 swells overnight to an incredible size, with nearly a million people on the street and millions more around the world watching on TV. What most people aren't aware of is the enormous operation that goes on behind the scenes to make the Rose Parade happen. There are multiple agencies to make sure that this stays safe, uh, and our public safety officials are extremely important to that. When you have such an influx of people in such a centralized location, there's always something that's gonna go wrong. And we have to be ready to respond. We bring everyone together in one centralized location. And this is what we call the Multi-Agency Coordination Center. Term of Roses also has an off-site command center that they host as well for their operations. The Term of Roses and the city of Pasadena collectively now utilize the Esri platform which ensures the passing of information between both entities is seamless to protect the community at large, as well as the events. One of the first things before the parade starts is we have to have our tow trucks in place. When a float breaks down, we have 30 seconds to tow that float. With the tow truck operators using the Field Maps app, that allows them to be tracked and identified, and we know right where they are so that we can get it to the correct float. When the sun comes up and the crowds start to liven up, our command centers are going into high gear. What you see behind you is a graphical depiction of the law enforcement zones and all the fire and EMS assets that are assigned to those different zones. So obviously it's important for us to understand exactly where everyone's at. We have a pretty good way to do that with our Esri platform by pinpointing our folks because each one of them is being tracked. Units in the field are able to utilize smart devices that are preloaded with field maps. We can take that information back into the command center and visualize their actual locations in real time on the operations dashboard. You can't find it, you ask Jeanette. Okay, this is the person mm -hmm. on your left. The uh, Tournament Safety Center is all up and operational. We're fully activated. All parade participants have the mobile app with them. We know where all of those people and elements are at any given time. At 8.01.30, it's showtime. Once the parade starts, everyone's on edge. They're waiting to react. We're tracking the floats, we're tracking the bands, we're tracking the equestrian units, and we're tracking the cars that have the VIPs in them. It's important to us not to have large gaps in the parade. Large gaps are signs of other issues and will lead to other problems. At our tournament safety center, it wasn't too soon before we did have a problem. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. No, the gap is here. So the people in this room identified um, that there was a problem, and it was with one of the floats. We couldn't get it going. It's there. Three blocks between this line and this line. But with the application, we were able to quickly get a tow truck to that float, get it hooked up, and the parade will proceed without any interruptions. So the parade starts off smoothly, like it always does on TV Corner, but near the end we get the influx of calls. Let them know we're having a high volume of EMS calls. Northeast side of Colorado and Marengo, uh, chest pain. Go for ground support 32. Ground support 32, Eric, man, ETA. ETA, approximately two minutes. 
just want to verify that we can get uh, 731 across the route on Colorado if it's already gone by. Luckily, we had the technology, so we knew our asset locations in comparison to the incident location, and they're able to deploy rapidly. They got it. The woman was safely transported to the emergency room and fully recovered. From a safety perspective, um, the parade went really well. The application, because it was used in the multi-agency coordination center, allowed us to be speaking the exact same language as our public safety partners. I think the fact that we were able to track this and utilize the situation awareness uh, on the Esri platform was a huge benefit to us uh, from an operational standpoint. No other tools or software give us the real-time data feeds that we require, as well as the portability to give that information out to our units in the field. I think moving forward, we're going to be able to enhance and augment that opportunity so we can be uh, even better than we were this year.